Hey guys, and welcome to game two of Maca Prime vs. OGS Top. This is on Scrap Station, and of course, OGS won last game. All he has to do is win one more, and he is sending Maka to the loser's bracket, where he will be very, very sad. <laughs> Poor Maka. <laughs> Alright. Um, obviously, this is another Terran vs. Terran. Would you really expect it to change in game two? That'd be weird. So far... Not a lot going on. Scrap Station is always... I like Scrap Station in terms of Terran versus Terran. I won't say it's my favorite matchup on it, but it's it's nice. Because Terran has... You know, Terran can go air for the quick, you know, um, rushing over there. Terran, you know, has a lot of, you know, pretty tough units like Marauders, Tanks. They can get through the middle pretty easily. So, hey, it works out well. I like it. Um, interestingly, it does look like Micah Prime. He's got his, you know, 3, 4, and 5. I usually don't see... or. Th Four, five, and six. Wow, I can count. I'm amazing. You know, I'll just look pretty early scout coming over here from OGS top. OGS top. This is more what I'm used to. You know, your scouting guy on one, and then three is your command center. That guy's kind of a weird one. It's like he's scouting around for some proxies. Um, a little surprising there, actually. Don't usually see people actually scouting for proxies, and the reason of that is, of course, that you know, there's so many places you can hide a proxy. You can hide one, like, right there. You can hide it over here by the rocks. You can hide one, like you saw him checking right over there. So really, I mean, checking for proxies, just... You have to spend forever trying to go around and make sure that they're all checked. So most people just go over here and say, Hey, there's no barracks. That means he's proxying. Um, got gas. I won't call that an early gas. That's a pretty standard gas, actually. So it looks like standard play coming from Maka Prime. Maka's like, man, you beat me last game. I am not going to cheese my way into through game two. I'm going to beat you. I'm going to beat you legit. At the end of the day, you're just going to be like, oh, man. You know, this. Uh, if you get cheesed, you get pissed off, but you're like, man, I got this guy. And then in game three, you just nail him. But if you get beat by a standard play, if the guy just straight up outplays you, then you just kinda, you're just kind of like, oh, man, what am I going to do now? I can't beat him. And for a second, he wasn't making anything there, which was surprising. Um, I guess he just wanted to squeeze out one more marine. Or, I guess, squeeze out one more reactor. And there's a second barracks coming out. Second barracks before a factory. That's unusual. Um, I usually don't see that, especially not on this map. Just because, you know, siege tanks can cover... I mean, there's only one way in. So, if they go for siege tanks, then... Especially with reactor marines. I mean, possibly a marauder push could work on this map. But, no, man, he is pushing. He is committed to this marine build, so we'll see how it goes, Maka. Remember, I mean, if you lose this on this Marine push, then, hey, you're gone. Go, go, go. Looks like he's gonna send over here. Meanwhile, what is he doing over here? He is getting his factory up, and so this could be, you know, a very, very short game. You know, either the push is going to work, or the push is going to run into a siege tank and just get smothered and splattered. To have Tech Lab up, the real question will be whether he gets a tech lab over here. Because like I said, a Marauder push can be effective on this map. Marauders can get through the center of rocks very, very quickly. You know, this tank is not all that effective against them. They'll just run in there, kill it, and be good. You know, if they get Banshees up, then Marauder pushes don't work out so well. But, and it looks like he's... Ooh, I'm waiting to see what add-on he gets. But right now, he's not getting an add-on. He is taunting me! Um, I'm going to guess he's going to go for a reactor, just because he doesn't have the gas. I mean, he's... Well, I don't know. He's, he's not saving gas anymore. I don't know what he's doing! He's messing with me. I do not approve of being messed with. Do not approve. Do have... Looks like some marines around here. I'm guessing these marines stopped the scout, because I don't see any blue on the side of the map. But... And honestly, if Maka... I mean, if Top doesn't scout soon, because he, he has no idea about these other two barracks over here. And that will be bad news for him. So, he does have a siege tank out. Oh, 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 oh. That's going to hurt him. That's going to hurt him a lot. Because he's got a siege tank out without siege mode. And he just moved his factory away, so he's not going to get siege mode anytime soon. Meanwhile, there comes the marines and the marauders. Meanwhile, I bet he is still cranking away back here. Back home. So, looks like they're going to do a little bit of base trade, but I guarantee... Wait, that's an empty medevac. Well, he's going to find out about the barracks right now, but I, I was going to say they're going to do a base trade, but they're not going to do that. Um, 
and there he's evacu- he's evacuating uh, away from the empty medevac. Is he- is he- he's attacking! Wow! Zounds, I should say. So, there come some bunkers up, and man, you better move in. I mean, this is your chance, Maka. This is your chance to take it. If those bunkers get up, you are you are really, really fortunate that this siege mode does not have and will not have um, tech. That might ruin your day. It's it's at 58. It probably won't make it in time. If he had a point defense drone, that would be very, very effective. But these are up now. We're going to have to see. Sending in SCVs in the beginning to take hits. Um, there goes the first bunker. There goes the second bunker. Bunkers did go down before the SCVs come down here and actually save them. There's SCV and SCV combat here. SCVs are actually keeping off the... And there's the GG. That was a very, very lucky attack from Maka's point. Because like I said, if the... If top had gone for siege mode, man, uh, two tanks could have stopped that in its tracks. Similarly, I mean, he knew he was coming. He knew that barracks were out. I mean, he should have he should have seen this and moved those down there to repair the bunkers, but he didn't. So the bunkers did not get repaired. They went down. The SCVs were just kind of out there in the middle. The other SCVs were blocking and they just, bam. A lot of death. So, Short game, but good game. Good job. Maka takes game two. We're going to go to game three. Whoever wins that one moves on. The other one goes into the loser's bracket and is one loss away from elimination. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll, I'll see you in game three.